Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the camera mapping technique or camera mapping modifier in 3D Studio Max. Now, where is the camera map uh, modifier actually used? Now, if you see this image, this is the uh, Ogmo Castle from UK, a part of it. And if I need to create this archway into 3D Studio Max, uh, where I don't want to create uh, this archway in a very detailed manner uh, else I have to create the model and uh, then we have to unwrap it and then we have to map this uh, texture from the Photoshop or any image editing software but uh, with the camera map technique we can easily uh, project this map according to the uh, camera to the object so that is the most uh, interesting part of it so let's see first uh, set the perspective view uh, in uh, such a way you want and then uh, create a camera by pressing ctrl c now in the camera view just press alt b for viewport background and call that image the ogmo castle open now in the settings this is the most important part of this tutorial the aspect ratio you have to put to the match rendering output otherwise it won't match when you are rendering this is very very important mind it display and like then you can lock or zoom a pan also just press ok now as you can see the object the image is not uh, completely been seen so go to the camera view and show save frames and this way you can uh, create the uh, see the entire image then you move to the create menu under the shapes you can create lines now you have to model the entire archway in a very rough manner just uh, you need to understand how how rough and very low poly object uh, you, you can you can find this kind of difficulties as this is um uh using the perspective view it's not a very good one just to hit z and then again start because that is the most important thing you have to rephrase the view So, like this, 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 this is how it's going to work because this is beyond the horizon line. This is this is going upward. That's why. So you need to adjust the camera. That's uh, very important. I'm actually going beyond the horizon line so you just need to the orbit of the camera okay press G and then again maybe you can now you can start uh, so that's it see you you can't cross the horizon line in the perspective views that's the most important thing another important thing you need to understand this is the limitation okay so close this line now go to the modify panel I need the thickness of this line so uh, for creating the thickness put an extrude modifier okay like this and it's all set because uh, point three maybe yep. so now what we'll do we'll do uh, if still now if if in, in this se in this uh, position if we uh, call it create an, a, a material which is uh, consisting of the same image we have put in the background and just uh, drag and drop uh, into this object and if we hit render you will see it's not uh, at all you know matched 
it's all messed up but if we put the camera map modifier not the world space modifier mind it we are not concentrating on wild space modifier we are on the object space modifier so if we hit camera map modifier and and under the camera map modifier you will see the current camera object epic camera and we will just uh, select the camera from any viewport now if you hit render you will see the entire object has been mapped according to your need now you can see there is a texture distortion over here even the uh, the object with what we have created from the top view you can see it's an absolutely distorted one that's why this is the, these things are happening so uh, when you're creating this uh, model I prefer that you just uh, create on uh, on the on the front kind of viewport or you just rotate that viewport completely from top view or you know, for any kind of uh, a side view kind of uh, uh, or maybe 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 exactly you can you can uh, come to the uh, front view from from the start from the front view like uh, if I delete this and I delete the camera again and uh, uh, <coughs> uh, get back my grid and like this and this way if you create the object you will see this uh, it's very uh, easy to you know as there, there is no there no text distortion or even you can go to the front viewport and you can create that so that's the thing you you need to understand again I am just uh, reading the thing uh, first uh, press control C to create the camera then just uh, make the outline as you wish it's very rough one you don't need to uh, you you can actually uh, make the detail model because uh, that's why that's where the everything uh, will show up so uh, then again we'll go to the modifier and put uh, extrude modifier uh, that's it and we can put the camera map modifier after that so camera map modifier pick camera select it go to the material editor select the materials and just put it up so if you hit render you can see the map has been exactly uh, portrayed over the uh, if you uh, go to the perspective view even from the perspective view we can uh, you can uh, see uh, the object has been created uh, the texture has been uh, you know uh, portrayed o o on the object exactly how you ex want it now the negative part of it uh, you you just uh, can't if you, if you rotate that you'll see uh, some sort of uh, miss uh, but after that you can uh, really it doesn't matter that after you, you put the texture you can see uh, the object has been completely uh, no connection with the camera because uh, once you have uh, portrait the camera or once you have uh, you know uh, once you have uh, put the material it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so uh, that is the most uh, positive side oops I think I've, I've told you that's a negative side I'm sorry I'm sorry is a, this is the most positive side of the thing uh, that uh, you after the projection you can put the object anywhere because there is no connection with the camera at all uh, and so that's it you can uh, use it any kind of uh, in any in, in background or for creating any any uh, you know a, a level or city or or anything in the games so that's a, a very effective technique for the games and for your BG for any films or even any kind of any any kind of compositions so thank you very much